It's New Year's. I don't know, I was never a fan of, of uh, time sectioning and, and having a cutoff period. Though it is nice to, to every once in a while have a summation of a specific time period. I don't know, it's just like time moves on and we, we, we keep going. But it is nice to, to, to stop for a second and look back. That's the one thing that I do enjoy doing because if you look back you can always learn from it and you can always improve for the future and you can always have the new year's resolution and then you do nothing about it and yeah all that all that crap that i'm not even going to get into i've never been i mean that's just stupid if you want to do something do it you don't have to wait for the new years in order to have a resolution it's just stupid and that's why it doesn't stick because it's stupid but the point being it's a good time to reflect back on what what this year was and what you're gonna do about it moving forward and for me well i had a pretty good year um i had a pretty pretty great year i've, I've started seriously having a job <laughs> um in the games industry and actually making games that that come out and have an audience some projects that i've made were less successful some more successful some more interesting some less interesting but um, I did a lot of things that I am actually proud of, and I'm still doing things that I'm proud of right now. I, I really love the job that I have right now, and uh, I, I'm looking forward to just doing more of it. And I really like where I am right now in my life, uh, in this point. I have a lot of hobbies that I'm happy about. I have a lot of relationships that I'm happy about, and, uh, and I'm good. You know, I'm just, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of good. I'm finally... I feel like I've found my place. And that doesn't mean that I'm not entirely terrified of the future. Because I am. Because that's kind of... If I'm not terrified of the future, there's something wrong, I feel. Because that means that I'm too comfortable and I'm too complacent. And I I never like that. I, I, I hate complacency. I want to always be in a, in a slightly agitated state. I want to always be challenging myself. I want to always be... Um, terrified of, of what's about to come because it could be amazing and it could be bad and it requires input from me. It requires me to do something and to try and to think and not to just, you know, survive through life. That's terrible. I want to be active. I want to do something. And uh, the more I'm challenged, the more, the more things come up my way, the better. Sort of. Sometimes, yeah, sometimes I just want a cup of, a cup of, of cocoa and just, uh, of cocoa, it's like chocolate, not a cup of myself. That would be weird. But, um, <laughs> yeah, that's pretty much how I feel. And uh, I think moving forward, there's a lot of challenges coming up um, from my job, from, from other perspectives, uh, other things that I want to accomplish and that I want to do, and that I'm, I'm just excited to, to keep going. As far as this channel, um, I found a very comfortable place that I, I I find myself not always... I like the, the, the fact that I'm not super strict with my schedule anymore because I used to be very, very strict with it. I'm less strict with my schedule, and that actually allows me for more, um, more creative freedom <laughs> in the sense that I can... If I don't have something that I... If the point that I want to make isn't very, very well formed in my head, I have another day or a little bit longer to actually form it until I put up a video. And I really do enjoy making these videos. Sometimes it's a little bit hard, sometimes I don't feel like it. And you know what? Sometimes I just don't. I just don't make a video because I just don't. But I do enjoy making all the videos that I that I am currently putting out uh, every week, which is Dota and Stuff, which talks about random crap. Why You Should, which is talks about random crap, but not necessarily games. That's the difference. Um, Concept Hunter, which people are still uh, are still enjoying, so I'm still gonna keep making it, even if sometimes the games are kind of terrible and I don't really have too much to talk about. I still make them, and it's still a lot of fun. And uh, I'm really enjoying playing Majesty right now. Majesty will eventually end, and I'll find another game, probably an old weird game, like all the other games that I've played so far in a Let's Play manner, very slowly, 
but in my pace, and it's it's nice. It's a it's a very different way of playing a game than what I'm used to because I'm used to just taking something and consuming all of it as fast as possible. I do this with games, and I also do this with series. I enjoy waiting for a series to end so that I could binge all of it in a short time span. A lot of people enjoy doing that, but I I'm I'm one of those. And playing through a game very slowly, an hour a week, and it's a game that could be hours and hours and hours then it's a, it, it's a new experience, it's a different experience, and it's, I like it. It works. It works for me, and I like it, especially the games that I've chosen so far, because it doesn't really work with every game. Uh, Majesty works really, really well, because it's, you just do a mission, and then you don't care, and you just do another mission, and you don't care, because they don't, there's no relation between the missions. That's why you can also do them in whatever order you, you want, which is a pretty interesting way most games don't do that these days whatsoever. But uh, yeah, that's a discussion for another day. I enjoy doing this channel um, and making all the videos and I do get subscribers from time to time and it does go up very 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 slowly little by little it goes up and that's kind of nice to see because more and more people watch watch the videos that I make even if it's just 20 30 or 40. I constantly go back to that people say 30 people that's nothing but if you think about it 30 people actually watch the entire thing from start to finish that's a ton that's a ton if you think about it. Do you Can you name 30 people? You probably can, but it's going to be 30 people that you know. You probably can, but it's not going to be easy. It's going to be pretty difficult. People that you've shaked hands with, 30 people are a lot. And that makes me smile. That's that's good enough for me that 30 people, for some reason, watched the crap that I put up. And I'm, I'm just happy with that. I don't edit my videos. I don't put too much time into them. Uh, they don't... They don't take too much out of me, but they allow me, they give me a platform to just randomly babble. And sometimes I get a little bit of feedback, and sometimes I don't. And that's fine. And uh, as long as I enjoy doing it, why not keep on doing it? I don't see a reason not to. So I'm going to keep on doing that. And um, that's it. Everything look, is, looking, is looking good right now. And it's funny because a couple years ago, um, a couple years ago, I had no idea what I wanted to do, and I had I, I felt very lost. And I actually have a couple of videos going back that are end of the year summation videos that are just I have no idea what the hell is going on. And it's fun to see that year by year it gets better for me, or at least it has so far, which I am happy and grateful for, for all the good stuff and all the bad stuff. But there were more good stuff than bad stuff, so I could be happy. And, um, yeah, I'm just good. It's just good stuff. It feels really, and now I feel kind of bad just now. So everything is awesome. My life is perfect. Yeah, I feel kind of stupid saying that. But, and I don't think that that's true. But, um, I'm in a really good place right now. And that's all that matters. And that's, that's what's important. And, um, yeah. Thank you so much for watching. I don't know how much, if you're the first time, this is the first video you've ever seen of me or that you've seen more. Thanks. It's a it's a good time to also take a look back and and just thank you for watching stuff. I always thank people for watching at the end of every video, but still, thanks for watching stuff. Um, and especially thanks if you comment because it's fun to it's just fun. I I enjoy conversation. I enjoy debate. I enjoy yelling at people. And um, you know, <laughs> every any any form of, of discussion about these topics that that come to mind for me is good and I enjoy it. And thank you for participating in whichever form you choose to. And that's it. I should stop babbling right now uh, and get back to work. Yeah, I'm, I'm just working normally today. I don't have any special plans for today. I don't really celebrate the New Year's or for in any... I... Yeah, all right. Thanks a lot for watching, and I'll see you guys next time in 2016. Derp.